We had one of her very popular hummingbird feeders on a couple of weeks ago, and she's brought in a new one today that is different, would work well with those, or certainly all by itself. You're getting a set of two today, and I love that whole idea of that double shepherd's hook where they're both hanging there. Uh, they're under $40 for the set of two, and we have two easy payments today of $19.84, which is awesome, which is a surprise easy pay. I didn't know if we I were going to have that. I know, it's like everything's a surprise to me. I love Happy it. Happy so, gardening, everyone. So welcome, honey. I know you work really hard to bring really great hummingbird feeders because most of the stuff that's out there is just not durable. Oh, like, like this? It doesn't last. It gets dirty and, and slimy and yeah. and faded looking. You can't so, clean it. You know, you really, after a season, you got to throw them away. So these, I think, are far superior, and I'd love for you to give us a little tour. Okay, well, Carolyn, what we did was we went ahead and made a better mouse trap. Now, if you have our glass ones, yep, these look gorgeous with them. But what we did was we did 32 ports around the top. We made the hanger out of anodized aluminum. So it's not gonna break, it's not gonna fall. Then we have the resting place because hummingbirds love to take They do and rest. a little little nappy. Well, they their little wings go 80 times a second. So they gotta stop every once in a while. Well, and they need to get the nourishment as right. well. Okay, so it holds up to two cups of nectar, okay. which I do give you that nectar recipe as well, guys. And again, don't buy that red stuff at the store. It's not good for them. All right. Well, Go the, the red, they don't need to ha have it colored red because the container is red. They are attracted to red, but in, in this case, you just put Roxanne's little mix of, um, of sugar water in there and they're, they'll love it. They love it. Mm -hmm. And so this actually brightens up gardens. I mean, I love it, Carolyn. And when something isn't flowering, mm -hmm. you can put, you know, a set of two. They make great gifts. But Carolyn, most hummingbird feeders that are plastics, are, ours are polycarbonate are really not durable. Are you and jumping guys, up? Look at her Can feet. you see what I'm doing right now? I'm standing on hers. I'm not a tiny Italian mama, okay? <laughs> this hummingbird is made to last, okay? It is very durable. It's made out of really good material. It's even dishwasher safe. Yeah, I know. Okay. I, this is awesome. So uh, again, a set of two. It's made so well, <laughs> and I love what you did with the hook. Can we talk about that too? Because you've done it in a beautiful copper color, and it's uh, anodized aluminum, so it's okay. lightweight. So it's super lightweight. And you know why I like that too? Because if you have a branch that's not super sturdy, maybe it's a smaller type of branch, it's not going to bend way down when you no. put this on it because it's not super heavy, even filled up. And Carolyn, you can get in and clean this opposed to these kind of mouse and those traps. Look, those just look nasty hanging in your yard. Well, they are nasty. Yeah. And you know, you really shouldn't have mold with your hummingbird feeders, okay? Right. So just take and lift it off, scrub it out, throw it in your dishwasher if you want, guys, because again, it's made with really heavy dur derby, dirt, yeah. duty. Yeah, heavy duty. Heavy duty. <laughs> and then the hanger just screws right up on top. Couldn't be easier. It's not yeah. difficult to fill. Uh, we're showing the video again. Uh, you can hang them together. You can keep one, give one. Uh, I would definitely hang them both if you can around your property because hummingbirds are very territorial. So once they know that they have a good place to get their nourishment, they'll keep coming back to your yard. They'll build their nests around your yard. Mm -hmm. It's so much fun to see the babies hatch or the teeny tiny little eggs in the teeny tiny little nest. And they're just so joyful. I mean, it's just so wonderful to be able to sit out in your garden and watch these little guys come by um, or, you know, hang this outside your kitchen window or something where, where you are. can see it. Or the kitty cats will have a field day in the window oh, they do. looking at the little birdies. Jane Tracy has one outside her, <laughs> her window. It's we all Kiki's know her Entertainment. It's Kiki's Entertainment. <laughs> I always think, um, you know, Carolyn, my mommy's up in heaven. Aww. And I love the hummingbirds because my mom loved the hummingbirds. Yeah. And she loved to sit in our backyard. And this just makes me happy, especially when the hummingbirds keep coming back for more and yeah. more and more. I love the shape of this. It looks like a big flower, you guys, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So when the hummingbirds spot this as they're out flying around, you know they're going to be drawn to this, I think even more so than those vertical feeders. Oh, exactly. Uh, this really looks like a great big flower, like a hibiscus or something that, that they love. And so once they get over there, and look at all these little portals. Look at all these little places they can stick their little beaks. So you're going to have a little cluster, I bet. 30, of little hummingbirds um, hanging out there and, and having their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. 32 ports, and you can see if it gets empty, if it um, gets dirty. Mm -hmm. And again, Carolyn, cleaning, cleaning, cleaning is so easy. easy with this. 
that's what I love about it. So and it's new, it's durable, it's easy to clean, it comes with the nectar recipe, so you don't have to go buy anything. Don't go buy it. And it's very attractive to the whole main event, which is the hummingbirds that we would love to have in our yard. And I think they look really pretty hanging in your garden. They do, and especially when you don't have something blooming. I mean, I actually have six in the, in the back, two in the front, there's Anna right there. That's in front of my hibiscus tree that is not blooming right now. But needless to say, it just pops that glisten. It's like a jewel in your garden. Hey, if you got the today's special value and you get a hook and mm -hmm. then put one of the Scott's Brothers beautiful oh, globes mm -hmm. next to this, guys, it's pretty, 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 yeah, pretty. Yeah, it's all pretty, that's the whole point. Okay, and we work so hard to get these great gardens, Carolyn. And Get the birds in there because they take and they pollinate yeah. all your little it's flowers. Important. It's important to have the birds in your garden. And Absolutely. especially hummingbirds are just so much fun. So a thousand of sets of these now ordered. Remember, you're getting two of them for under $40. And that means two easy payments as well of $19.84 today on our special uh, garden event day with the Scott Brothers and our preseason sale pricing on many things. Lots of easy pay today. And this is something brand spanking new that no one's ever seen before. You guys get the first one. Thanks, Roxanne. Hey, it's a really honey. nice feeder. I like it. Can I we like do a little design. shout out to our QVC Attic friends? Hi, QVC Addicts. I love you guys on Facebook. She loves you. You're so nice. Thank you for being nice.